say this on the grounds that before the finish of this piece, numerous per users will break out the pitchforks and blame me for being on Team Green's finance. It's not genuine. This first ride can be summed up along these lines, if I fabricated myself a standard cruiser, it would look and act like a Kawasaki Z900 RS. The bicycle left me exceptionally odd. I needed to discover enormous blemishes. I searched for them. Not having the capacity to censure an item you're looking into enough to seem valid for the infinites, so far as should be obvious, is an entirely extraordinary issue to have. Edge, wheels, motor, transmission adapting, front lamp, debilitate, gadgets, brakes, and suspension all changed in imminent and important ways. We should begin with the skeleton. The casing is diverse probably in light of the fact that the Z900 sky scratching tail section doesn't generally jive with the possibility of a surfboard situate return bicycle. At 58.1 inches, the RS is additionally a touch longer than the Z9, the motor has been revamped to give somewhat less power and torque with an end goal to move the bicycle's energy counterclockwise on the tack. Pressure proportion was thumped back a bit from the Z900s. 11.8 to 1, diminished by one full point. I can't trust a 10.8 to 1 CR now is a low proportion. Man, I feel old. Lest you be tricked, notice, the Z900 RS still inhales some fire. It's a close leader, 948cc, inline 4 chamber. Care must be worked out. The fumes additionally include smaller ports in a similar exertion of utilizing the motor's muscle ideal from sit still. The fumes is a genuine bit of work. Header channels are cleaned, welded, and cleaned once more. Looking substantially more pleasant than anticipated, they nearly take after a decent secondary selling setup. Further, they are pipe inside pipe, so there is an air hole that implies that the overwhelming gold staining that accompanies stainless funnels is absent on these. It likewise implies they can be kept slick by a picture cognizant proprietor. Kai says this is their first fumes they've made because of fumes acoustic research, which shocked me enormously. On the off chance that that is valid, their brisk examinations over yonder at Team Green, since this bicycle sounds flawless. What's more, for all the fuddy-duddies out there who weep over the absence of four channels like a first Gen Z1 or Z900, take note of that this looks one serious parcel like an old Kirker. And after that we get to the little stuff. Footing control, LED fog light, Front out spread mount calipers, carefully cast wheels, clickers for pressure damping in the front fork, and a distinctively molded fuel tank would all be able to be found on the Z900 RS. Note as well, this bicycle comes in two variations, one is $10,999, and one $11,199. Note that the distinction here goes a bit past the paint work. Wheels are dark on the dark bicycle, however darker paint additionally nets wheels with a cleaned lip and a few spokes cleaned, which are marginally reminiscent of an old arrangement of Lester mags. In my estimation, Kai hosed themselves enabling this current bicycle's moniker to be so near its Z900 stablemate. They're passingly comparative, and that is about all. I really think the RS name harms it here. On another note, I'll never know why they continued referencing the Z1 when a real Z900 likewise existed. I don't comprehend retro and legacy, I presume. Whatever. Arose by some other name, I assume.